Hi there folks, this is Vlad with Review Outdoor Gear and today I'm going to be reviewing these dry bags. These are the Fjordland dry bags from The Camping Trail. The Camping Trail is a little small company run by Patrick, as you can see here, Patrick at The Camping Trail. And he sent us these dry bags to a review for him. So full disclosure, we got them for free. So we're going to try to do an unbiased review here for you. Um, so when you buy these, you pay 20 bucks and you get two dry bags. You get one that's a 20 liter and one that's a five liter. And uh, you, can't, you can't just get one. If you buy the box, you get both of them. So they come in a box like this, nothing special there. So these bags are not made from a nylon that's coated with something. These are actually a, a tarp that's PVC. So it's extra waterproof, really thick and really durable. It's 500 denier, so really nice and uh, strong and coarse. Um, really thick, it's really going to take a, a good jab to poke through it. Um, and the, the material is uh, laser cut and hot sealed. The seams are all hot sealed, so they're basically just kind of melted into one piece. Um, there's a little pocket here on the 20 liter one, or a little window here, you can see stuff inside. And then it's stitched up around here just to keep this little strap on there. And it's uh, a little attachment point here is reinforced and also sealed up and made waterproof so that nothing leaks through there. Um, the big 20 liter one weighs about 430 grams. The 5 liter one weighs about 180 grams, so they're not super light, but they're really durable and uh, really robust. And the 5 liter one doesn't have a strap or anything, it's just a little simple bag that you can throw your things in. The 20 liter one has a strap and it has a little handle on the bottom, so you can either dump your stuff out of there when you got something in there, or if it's full, you can kind of grab it by the handle and move it around too, so it's kind of a little bit bigger. 20 liter one has a nice little valve. It's a two-step valve. So you can st stick your things in there and then kind of seal it up here. And then you can let the air out and then it won't come back in. So it's kind of a one-way valve. These bags are rated to an IPX5 standard, which is not fully waterproof. The company actually doesn't recommend that you submerge them fully. It's kind of a, a downside to these bags. So for example, you can put them on your kayak or your boat or whatever and uh, if they fall out and they float, they should be fine or if they get wet and splashed and st stuff, but um, don't go like diving or deep diving with these things that they will not hold up for, for a long time. So some possible uses for these bags. I would not recommend, like I said, using them for underwater things like, you know, diving or I don't know what else you could do. Um, but you could use them for things like caving if you're not planning to go underwater or uh, kayaking, you know, boating. Or if you're going on like an overland trip or something, you can put them on top of your car if it, if it gets rained on, if it gets mud on on them should be fine. Things like that, or just, just if you're going backpacking and you want to keep things in your backpack dry, you can stick your sitting bag in this one, roll it up and stick it in the bottom and not be afraid of it getting wet if you have a down bag, you know, other than just shoving it in there uncovered. So basically anywhere you need something that shouldn't get wet, um, these, will, these will work pretty well, except, you know, extreme cases where you're going to be submerging them because they're, they're not fully waterproof, so keep that in mind. All right, so, even though these are not fully waterproof, we're going to test that anyways. We're going to dump them in the creek and see how they hold up. Let's go. So let's say you're down by the creek. You're doing your gold panning. And uh, you find some rocks that you really want to keep dry. What do you do? Well, grab your bag. Shed your rocks down in there. Throw it up at least five times. That's what the company says to do. So, roll it up really nice and tight. Close it up. Now you got your precious rocks in there that you gotta keep dry. Shove them in the creek. Now hopefully your rocks stay dry because if they don't, well I don't know what, but pretty important. So Alright, then you rescue your rocks from the creek, pull them out, let's see how they turned out. 
they look alive so far. Let's see how they how it went for them. Well, they're mostly dry. I don't know where that came from. That's kind of wet. So, you can see in there. I'm not sure if that water came in after I opened it or not, but uh, there's some water inside and some steam. So, uh, definitely don't do that. If you have rocks that you want to keep dry, don't um, don't throw them in here and don't throw them in the creek. But otherwise, it should keep things pretty dry. Okay, let's see if the uh, little bag does any better. We got a nice dry rock. Should keep it pretty dry. Roll it up, nice and tight. Not let any water get in there. Close it up. I should stay dry, let's test it out. This is kind of a realistic situation here, you know, if something falls out of your boat or something, kind of goes floating around. But it should keep it dry. Let's see. You know, you pull it out after a few minutes, shake it off, and open it up. Let's see here. Try to stay dry. Unroll it carefully here. Sweat all the way in here. So let's see about inside. A little, little bit of water, mostly just kind of seeping in after you open the bag. But uh, mostly dry. So. Like I said, you don't want this thing to, uh, you don't want to dump this thing in the water for a long time, you know? It's more for just keeping things dry on the outside if it gets rained on or, you know, you drop it in the water for a little bit. But uh, if the thing goes underwater for, you know, any, any, any period of time, uh, it'll get water inside. So keep that in mind. Well, guys, you saw there that our little operation was sort of successful. Um, we dunk, dunk these things in the water with a few rocks and uh, we didn't get a ton of water gushing in but just a few trickles kind of mostly when you open the bag up a few trickles of water kind of you know ran down the inside so like I said these are not you know IPX8 waterproof where you can submerge the thing for half an hour underwater but uh, they will keep things dry you know um, in the rain on top, on top of your car or in your canoe if the water splashes in or if these things fall out for a, for a minute and they kind of float around and you pull them back out, these will do the trick. But uh, don't expect them to keep something dry underwater for a long period of time. You know, dry bags are only capable to a certain degree. So um, hopefully that was informative. Hopefully you liked that review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below in the comment section. We always enjoy reading those and answering those. Um, uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And check out our channel for more videos and more reviews and more outdoor ad adventures and uh, videos. And as always, have a nice day. Praise God for everything he's given for us. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. It's been Vlad with Virtual Gear. Bye, guys. Gotta get that gold.